let's talk about after the game. So your historic 30. I know you guys can recover from this moment. I'm wondering if Dave can. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the greatest therapy ever. You can. <laughs> I watched the game last night to prepare. <laughs> First time I turned on TiVo since January 4th. <laughs> so your historic 34-game win streak comes to an end, and your quest for a third consecutive national championship uh, also comes to an end. This is the first time some of these players have lost in two and a half years. What did you tell your team in the locker room after the loss, if you can share any of those? Yeah. The, um well, first off, let me share one other little thing with you that was kind of interesting. At, at, right at the end of the game, um, you know, after the game's over, you know, you go to shake hands with the other coach. And sometimes that's a good moment. I've had a couple. I told you about one of them. But this was really an interesting moment that, that when, uh, and it really set me clear on what I was going to, how I would be from that moment on, is, is Mac was just frazzled. The, the head coach from Texas, he was frazzled. And, and he was pushing people and, uh, uh, you know, and fighting his way to me. And I got him and said, Mac, uh, you know, Mac, man, you just won the national championship, dude. Enjoy it, you know. And and, and he, you know, and he was, his eyes were glazing. There was no way <laughs> he wasn't going to be able to enjoy it yet. He was crazy, which is cool, and, and all that. But it, but it, <laughs> but it, it just it reminded me, you know, it, it reminded me of, of who we are and, and how we do things and, and and the way that we would deal with this. It just it was just in a second, you know. We always said if somebody's going to beat us, make them play great. Make them do things that they maybe have never done before to, to get this win on that night because we always know it can happen, you know. And make them play great. Make them play like a championship team. And we did that. And, and they had a you know, stellar performance from their quarterback that just did remarkable things that we couldn't handle. And so when, by the time I got to the locker room, I don't know, I did a couple of interviews there and, and responded to what it felt like. And, and then by the time I got to the locker room, you know, I, I was clear that, that these games, sometimes they end, you know. And, and the ending just comes at the time that it comes in and, and it doesn't really define who you are. And I wasn't going to let the fact that we didn't tackle them one more time, you know, on fourth and five, you know, if we, did, if we get them down there, are we entirely different than the, than the people that we are when we don't make that tackle? And, and uh, so I, I reminded the guys that, that we have been champions for a long time and they played like champions again in this game. And no matter what happened in this thing, that isn't going to define who we are because we still are what we are and who we are, and we're different than everybody. And I reminded them and went right back to the themes that would feel comfortable to them, that they would understand and, and hopefully track them back into uh, that which we had become over the years. Because it wasn't about the Texas game anymore. It was about getting ready for the next game, and we had to get right back on track. So that was, it didn't take but minutes to get to that. Great advice. There's an old saying that you can't tell character till the tide goes out. That's when you can tell who's swimming naked. As gut-wrenching as the loss was. <laughs> it, it, was that what, part of throwing line there? Warren, that, that was Warren Buffett. Uh, you know, as, as gut-wrenching as the loss was, your players were remarkably poised for 18 to 22-year-olds, giving credit to Texas, not whining about the officiating. That is a direct reflection on you, and it made all of us at the university very proud. Uh, we would still take the win, but we we're very proud of how you guys handled yourself.